Hey, what's up guys? So today we're looking at the Star Trek Original Series Bluetooth Communicator. Here we go. So there are a lot of toy replicas of the Communicator from the original series, but this one is a little bit different. This one is a, has full Bluetooth functionality when you pair it up with a, a smartphone. Uh, I'll get into that in a, in a little bit, but the build is actually made from scans from one of the last remaining props from the original 60s TV show. The plastic is really, really solid. It's got this nice uh, metal band around the outside, and the cover is metal with uh, metal hinges as well. And then flipping it open, you get that satisfying beep. In addition to the beep, you also get access to the spinning moray disc, which is the uh, the disc in the center there. Under the moray disc is the three jewels that give you access to some information about the device, whether it's charging, battery status, whether it's connected by Bluetooth, if you're streaming media, etc. Under the three jewels to the left is the microphone grill, and then next to that are two jog wheels. So the one on the left is not actually a jog wheel, it's really just a push button, so it pushes in. Um, the one on the right is a, uh, a multi-way toggle and also a push button so you can move up, down, left or right. And those access some of the functionality of the device. So functionality wise, this was really designed to be used as a companion device for a smartphone. But you don't have to use any of that Bluetooth functionality. Even without pairing it, you can still have a lot of fun with this device. So opening it up, you still get the communicator chirp. But you also get access to some of the sound effects from the ship and some clips from the core crew members by using that right jog wheel. So I'll go through some of those. I'm not going to play all the, all the sound effects, but I'll show you the first uh, entry for all of those core crew members. Enterprise, Spock here. Yes, Captain. Scotty here, Captain. McCoy here. Enterprise bridge, so pairing the device with a smartphone is really where the device shines. With it paired through Bluetooth, you can make and receive calls, issue voice commands, and stream music through the device. The, the speaker on it is not the best for streaming, so I'm not sure why you would use this uh, the communicator over your smartphone, but still, it, it has the capability to do that. When I say you can make calls, so issuing the voice commands and making calls are handled the same way. So I have it paired with a Android device right now. So accessing the functionality on the communicator, I can talk to the voice assistant, in this case it's Google, on my phone to issue commands. So I can get the weather. Voice command. What's the weather like today? The forecast tonight, 62 and clear. Right now it's 69 and sunny. So when a call comes in to answer it, it's really easy. You simply flip it open and it works through the communicator. You can't hold it up to your ear. It's not a private conversation. So you have to be okay with having the conversation over essentially what's a speakerphone. So in the test calls I did with this, people on the other side said that I sounded very clear. So the microphone picked up my voice very well. And the speaker on this is great for uh, the, those calls. It's not so great for music. Like I said, it's a little tinny, but you know, for the, the phone calls, it's awesome. And I cannot tell you how satisfying it is to receive a call, flip this thing over, open, leaving your phone in your pocket and having your conversation on the communicator. And then when you want to hang up, you close it again. It's just like being having a communicator in the actual series. It's a lot of fun. So the dock that comes with the communicator is one of the best that I've used for any device. It plugs in through a micro USB on the back, plugs into the wall, and then once it's sitting on your desk, you just slap the communicator on it and it sits on there magnetically and charges wirelessly. There's no wires to plug into the communicator itself. And then when it's done charging, a light at the bottom lights up and you pull it off and you're good to go. It's super simple. Um, it, the base is metal, the top is plastic, and I don't, I don't have anything else to say about that. It's actually one of the best chargers. I wish a lot of devices had chargers like this. It's, it's fantastic. The communicator comes packed in a solid plastic box and has kind of a little sheath for the communicator that you can use. And in the box, it's all padded. It has spots for the, the charger and the communicator itself. And it really feels like, you know, kind of a Starfleet issue uh, case for your communicator. It's real solid if you want to store it in there. It's definitely not going to get damaged in this. 
unless you drive over it with a truck or crash a starship into it or something. All in all, I would say the communicator is a must have for any Trekkie, definitely. And then even if you're into the original series or any of the Star Trek series, it's definitely a good thing to have. You can get them on Amazon. I think it was about 120 bucks. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check it out. And if you guys have any questions on it or you have any comments on the device or anything similar, uh, let, let me know in the comments below and uh, rate and subscribe and i will see you guys next time i'm also on twitter instagram uh, facebook and telegram so feel free to reach out to me on those thanks guys and i will see you in the next video